Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at these GE 250 watt multi-vapor metal halide bulbs. Wait, where in the world did these come from? Well, I picked them up recently at the ReStore, but you may have seen them also recently in the Lowe's lighting section video. It appears Lowe's has donated a whole bunch of their GE bulbs to the local ReStore. And uh, yeah, that's where these came from. So for $1 a piece, I decided to pick up all four of them. I traditionally don't have a use for the 250 watt mercury vapor or metal halide bulbs, but I recently picked up some fixtures that do take these bulbs. So this was a wonderful find because I was in need of some of them. So this was perfect. Anyway, picked up all four of them. As you can see, they're still in their little container that would be on the shelf. Metal halide mogul base. There's nothing on the end here except what remains of Lowe's inventory sticker. So, with that being said, they're all exactly the same, so we'll just take one of them here. Put the rest of them aside. On the front of the packaging, obviously metal halide multi-vapor used with a ballast, that's very important. 250 watt. Um, it's interesting and nice that they note here on the front that whether you use it vertical or horizontally, there is a lumen difference. On the side, we have a picture of the bulb itself. That's pretty nice. Um, I noticed a lot of their other packaging, at least of this era, they did that as well. On the back, we have the pictures of where this bulb will be used. In fact, I have that exact fixture right there, and that's where this bulb is going to be used. So, perfect. Um, you can see it is manufactured for the new company that's just using GE's logo and information. There's nothing on the bottom. Um, I did a video recently of the Mercury Vapor versions, and they put the date on the bottom. Interesting they didn't put that here. I'm trying to see if I notice it anywhere else. But I don't see it, so maybe it'll say on the base. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And there's the bulb. Oh, we do get some information in here. I don't know if the other one had this little warning thing too. Set that aside. And there's our 250 watt metal halide bulb. There's the etch. So I'm gonna guess uh, December of 2022. And that's what it looks like here on the base as well. Um, the base of the Mercury Vapor one, you can see it says 01 of 22, and that matches what's on the bottom here. So I'm going to assume that this here is uh, pretty much the same type of date code situation going on. Uh, that arc tube looks kind of small, don't it? In fact, I have a Phillips 250-watt bulb here. It looks like a hundred and 75 watt arc tube in fact i think i have one right here uh, this one they just had one of but this one still has its tube here does it have a date it looks like it yeah 2019 anyway the reason i want to take a look at this one real quick is because of that arc tube situation going on here. It's almost like it's mislabeled or something. Well, it definitely has a different starting resistor there, but oh, I guess it is bigger than the 175 watt version, but smaller than the 250 watt older Phillips version here. So, of course, the inner workings of the bulb, our mogul base, seems pretty decent. I've noticed uh, with a lot of the more modern arc tube lamps, they make the arc tubes smaller than they used to be, just like our example here. And it also goes for the mercury vapor bulbs as well. I don't know if they're, why exactly they're doing that, if that's to produce more light, but I'd, I'd see, I would think, excuse me, I would think, that it would be maybe harder on the ballast. It'd probably have a different arc voltage and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, definitely looks smaller. So, let's go ahead and turn it on. Here we go in three, 
two, one. Took it a second there to ignite. Of course, it is a brand new bulb. So, as usual, let's let it warm up. So I'd certainly say we're at full brightness now. You can tell through the warm-up process when all the different halides are entering into the uh, arc there, the different color changes and uh, little pulses of light as it's getting brighter through the warm-up process. But we definitely have a very white light. Um, it's not too cool or too warm. Um, very kind of bright white, maybe like 3,500 Okay, I don't know if it's set on the package exactly what color temperature this bulb is supposed to be. Uh, but anyway, it's a very nice white light. Uh, so let's take a quick look at it. Sitting on the workbench facing the other direction here, the garage doors, it definitely is lighting everything up with a nice crisp white light. I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this GE 250 watt multi-vapor metal halide lamp, the 2022 version. Also, please come rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.